Beast Mode and today in this video we are going to alter this Halloween themed haunted mansion into a Christmas themed mansion. So right now I'm going to cover all the house. If you can see the little windows are very wonky and weird and it does not match a Christmas theme layout after I get my glue situation situated. After that um, I'm going to uh, kind of cut some things on. If you see my phone right there, I had my phone next to me because I wanted to, um, I had to get inspiration for this. I never, I don't do too many Christmas activities. Um, so I had to have my phone with me for inspiration what I want to do and what normal like Christmas villages look like. Um, I was actually going to get multiple of these, but sadly <clears throat> I only got one. I know even myself, I was like, you know what, so I'm going to get one at a time. You're not going to use it. And I did use it. And uh, I went back to Michael's and they don't have any more. So <laughs> I'm out of luck. If I want to make another one, I'll have to make it out of um, cardboard or paperboard. Which I can do if you wanted to know. If you like, if you don't have a Michael's near you and you want to do a project like this, hit me up in the comments and I'll make one from scratch for you guys. I didn't do too much altering anyways. But if you got this doll, if you, dollhouse, I keep calling it dollhouse. If you got this um, all this haunted mansion thing and you want to make a christmas theme or a different holiday theme here's some ways you can do it and yes uh, if you don't have the house it does light up still it's just not as bright but it still lights up and it's still pretty right now i'm digging through my dies to find my little christmas die that i got and the square die to cut the windows out of so i'm gonna do that off camera after I make sure it fits. Um, now I'm gonna paint this house red. I didn't like how red it was. It looked kind of like blood red for me. I don't know. That's just me. So I'm gonna add a little bit darker color to it to make it more of a Christmas red, in my opinion. Um, and sorry about the red cable. You keep seeing that is my charger that's charging the camera. Um, so this camera is gonna move a bit throughout the, the video because I keep hitting it, and it's getting very annoying. It keeps coming back in the frame. It won't leave. So after that's drying, I'm going to actually look for uh, what to do next. Kind of how the house looked and everything. Um, but uh, I'm going to go add that, that and paint the windows bright yellow. You know, basically saying that it's open. Uh, but I was really excited about this project. I mean, I got trim and everything for it. Like when I got the trim, I was like, oh my gosh, I can use the trim on top of this that I got from Michaels too. I'll leave that link to the haul in the description bar below to see what I'm talking about. But um, and I was happy because I normally buy trim and then I just like have, not say I have no idea, I just don't use it. But I've been getting really better, much better at that, guys. That when I buy things, I use them. But I mean, I was so excited. I already cut the trim off of the little dress form that came on and everything. So I'm going to prep this um, house by um, kind of like doing a layout check making sure that um, windows actually look well but they were too big for me so I'm actually going to trim off like a little smidget <coughs> no measuring just eyeballing it you know I don't measure much <laughs> uh, and I'm going to cut some of the squares in half and into little um, and fourths too to kind of match the house so I'm going to do a pre, like a dry fit, basically, to make sure I like what I'm doing. I always do this before I glue anything down. Because you want to make sure you like design or you try out different designs before you go. But this didn't take me too long. I don't know how, how long does it take me. Well, the video was like almost an hour long <laughs> with all the filming I did. But don't forget, this is like raw filming. And then right now, you see all the things jumped off the, off the um, mansion. I'm using some Dollar Tree. Those are the green scissors right there. I'm using some Dollar Tree uh, floral scissors to cut off the little notches that are on the mansion that I did not like and did not match what I was doing. Um, so I'm cutting those little things off. I mean, these scissors are great. If you don't have them, you should get them. They cut through wire. Oh my gosh, plastic. I mean, come on, guys. You need them. And they're spring loaded, so it really helps if you're kind of through thicker materials to have a little bit of help. Mm. But say Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, I have all of them. And they're meant, but they're meant for gardening, but I don't use it for that. 
what we got so I forgot the layout that I had so I just changed it and I'm gonna paint the base green so um of course you know it looks like grass it just gets covered up a little bit but it peeks through that's all that matters and I didn't try to cover too much of the red that kind of got on the base because I do cover it up with snow later on the video so it doesn't really matter too much to me I really didn't get too much attention to the back of the house, but you can. Now I'm going to cut up the door um, after I pry off my little paper. And yes, guys, I finally changed it. It's dirty enough. I changed it up. So I have a clean white piece of uh, backing paper for my videos until I paint something or do our journal page. And I'm going to cut the second square that I painted brown in a circle and then cut that in half for the top of the door frame. Now I'm going to clean up a little bit and kind of see where I want to go with this. Next I'm going to go and add um, the basically, I was going to use my ruler but I decided not to do it by freehand. And I'm going to go and add a little cross that goes over all the windows. I don't know what thing it's called. I'm sorry about the lighting but every time I turn my phone on it's going to alter the eye lighting a little bit because the white balance is off. But it gets better. See, told you. So I'm going to do that for all the windows and do it for the door. Out of that, out of that stuff, I use a black marker for the door because the brown was just blending in. After that, I'm going to go and add the trim I was talking about over the house. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to paint the trees. I realized you guys couldn't see the trees, so I'm going to go and um, paint these trees um, real quick. I was actually pondering just doing the entire tree brown, I'm sorry, brown, green, but I decided no, I would do brown and green so you can see the um the trunk of the not trunk is it trunk no yeah the trunk of the tree yeah and the leaves but I don't know it depends on you I was like kind of lazy I was like I don't want to get the brown out but the brown was already on my desk so I was like you know what I'll just do it anyways I'm a lazy crafter sometimes <laughs> but I think that the um it was really help it stand out a different color will help it stand out on the red house so I'm gonna do that and you can't have a house without snow so <laughs> and not a village not a Christmas village so I'm gonna add snow banks to all the windows and over the door and on the grass we don't really get much snow here in South Carolina not especially not on Christmas time it's it's either too warm or just it didn't get cold enough so we normally only get snow in January and February and if we do I know some northerners are going to laugh at us but we only get like maybe two inches and I mean when we get two inches everything shuts down I mean if we get one inch everything shuts down and it's just closed before it's just all the snow melts because us southerners okay some people can't drive in snow well they can't drive in the sunshine so they can't definitely can't drive in snow and this metal, sorry I'm off frame, but the metal palette knife I'm using is from AliExpress if you're wondering. I'll try my best to link some of these products that are from AliExpress in the description bar below. And I'm going to link the haul that some of these things were shown in in the description bar below if it comes up sometime soon. If it's out of this video, I might not. Uh, who knows? We'll see what I do. I don't know if I already told you guys, but the light does work. You can still see the light through the um, house because the paper is pretty thin anyways. Right now, sorry about the camera moving and jerking, but right now I'm going to glue the trim on here with my little favorite hot glue gun. I think it's really nice. It has a little bit of a little bit of um, tinsel on it, so it's like a really shimmery kind of like ice on top of the house. Like frozen snow kind of thing. Like what? Like like wet snow, wet. Whatever you know, what I'm talking, trying to talk, what I'm trying to say. And since you guys couldn't see the trees, my very messy um, paper, I decided I would just <laughs> just sacrifice the paper again and use it. And right now I'm using the texture paste, of course, from Walmart. And I'm going to just kind of hit the high points being very random since snow does not kind of land in a precise area I think it really looks nice but I'm making sure I kind of hit the tops of the branches first 
because trees that's where the snow goes i think that's why i see in the movies you know <laughs> and then right now i'm going to add some glue and add some glitter to this i thought i would do a shimmer i've seen a lot of people do shimmers on it and i really like it i thought i would add to the snow effect on here I'm actually going to add glitter to the house. I don't think I do that on the camera, but I do add glitter to the house too. But I was really excited. This glitter pack that you see on my desk is all from eBay and everything. I was really excited because I don't reuse glitter at all. So I'm really excited to get rid of it somewhat. I think almost all crafters have glitter, but I don't know many that really use it every day kind of crafting projects. But I think I add to the house first and then I went back and added to the trees. And I use my hot glue gun to attach them. Um, but I wanted to make the windows kind of shine a little bit more. So I'm using this um, stained glass from Tattered Angels I got from Tuesday morning. But it didn't give me enough shine. My head's going to come in the frame in a couple seconds. It didn't give me a nice shine so I'm going to add some glossy medium over it instead. for a double, double whammy. <laughs> um, but this project didn't take me too long. The entire footage, like all the footage of this video was almost an hour long, but I've trimmed it down because some, some of it was just like me doing the outline for the windows and just little things that I didn't think were that important that you need to see me do each step by step by step. So. But I think these little little steps really make the house look really nice and like actual glass basically. So I'm gonna try to clean up a little bit before I move on. I'm gonna do a couple things. Make my my little desk look a little neater. And I decided I would use a deer that comes in the die set. But it's pretty big. I didn't think, you know, most people have a seven foot tall deer in their front yard, but I decided if I move it a little bit further away from the door and not up on the door it would look a little bit better. I'm going to use some distress stains and walnut stain to color the deer and then I'm going to add Nouveau crystal drops and um, what color did I use? Um, gloss red berry for the nose to look like um, Rudolph the red nose reindeer. Because you know it got to be all Christmassy. So I'm actually gonna glue this down and actually let's actually pretty much finish the house. I don't do really anything else on this house. I had a lot of fun doing this. Um I might go back and make some more houses from scratch. And if you're interested, if you couldn't if you don't have a Michaels or you couldn't get your hands on these and you want to make a little Christmas theme something, here you guys go. As I said before, I don't really do too many holiday things. Um, but I wanna show you guys some things that I do, even though I don't have holiday specific supplies, you can still make cute holiday specific decorations and tool um crafty projects much love guys and i'll talk to you guys later bye